Coptic Voice Radio presents the reading of the Synexarium and the Antiphonary of this blessed day. Today is the first day of the blessed month of Misra. May God begin it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren. Amen. On this day, St. Apolli, son of Justice, son of Emperor Romarius, was martyred. This saint was the crown prince of the Roman Empire. He was away in war, and when he returned to Antioch, he found Diocletian had already established the pagan worship of idols. Although Apolli was capable of killing him and taking the empire over from him, he preferred the heavenly everlasting kingdom. Saint Apolli came forward and confessed Christ before Diocletian. In the beginning, Diocletian handled him gently. But when he failed to attract him to the worship of idols, he banished him along with his father, Justus, and his mother, Theoclea, to the city of Alexandria. He wrote to Armenius, its governor, to persuade them to offer sacrifices to the gods, and if they refused to separate them from each other, Armenius, knowing their royal positions, sent Justus, the father, to Ancena, his wife to the city of Saul, and Apolli, their son, to Basta. He also left to each of them one of their servants to minister unto them. When Apolli arrived in the city of Basta, he confessed Christ before its governor, who tortured him severely. He beat him, burned him, and dismembered him. When the governor saw that many became Christians because of what they saw from the steadfastness of the saint to the tortures, and the Lord was healing him from his wounds, he ordered to cut off his holy head and thus received the crown of martyrdom. May his prayers be with us. Amen. On this day also of the year 1643 a.m., the righteous and honorable father, Pope Carolus VI, the 112th Pope of Alexandria, departed. This father was born in the city of Tizmint, governorate of Beni Suef. In 1831 AD, his pious parents named him John, brought him up well, and raised him up in the Christian morals. He had a strong desire to study the Holy Bible and the biography of the saints. When he was 12 years old in 1843 AD, he was ordained a deacon and carried the deaconate duties ardently because he was inclined at such a young age to the life of asceticism and solitary life, he left the world and went to St. Mary Monastery in El Wadi Natrun. There he became a disciple to the spiritual elder, the Hegemon Father Girgis El Far, the father of confession of the monks. When John's father discovered where he was, he came to the monastery and brought him back. But because of his love for the ascetic life, he did not stay long. He returned to the wilderness and became a monk at El Baramos Monastery in the year 1850 AD. He excelled in his, monasticism, in his monastic duties and became known for his asceticism, purity, and gentleness, and became a good paragon to the other monks. He was ordained a priest in 1851 AD then promoted to a Higaman in 1852 AD. The number of monks in the monastery then was small, and its income was very little. This father worked hard in transcribing and selling books to churches. The income was used to buy the necessities of the monks, such as food and clothing. His virtues of knowledge, righteousness, and gentleness became well known. He was ordained a patriarch in the 23rd of Beba, 1591 AM. In venerable celebration, he directed his attention to building churches, renovating monasteries, being merciful to the poor, and caring for the affairs of the monks. 
In 1892 AD, he chose to be exiled rather than to squander the properties of the monasteries. And Bayu Anas, Metropolitan of Al Bahira Minufiya, then the deputy of the See of St. Mark, was also exiled with him. Afterwards, both returned from their exile with much respect and honor. During the papacy, the church was adorned by knowledgeable and holy men. Among them was the great father, the man of purity, meekness, and charity, Amba Ibrahim, Bishop of Al Fayyum. This bishop's virtues had spread vastly, and his almsgiving to the poor had reached a point where he did not save any money. All the donations he received from the benevolent he gave to the poor and needy. He also performed many wonders such as healing the sick and casting out evil spirits. Another was the well-learned great theologian and skillful orator, the Hegemon Philotheos Ebram El Tentawi, rector of the great St. Mark Church. Also, the well-learned father, the honorable and ascetic monk, the Hegemon Father Abdul Masih Salib El Baramosi, who was well-educated in Coptic, Ethiopian, Greek, and Syrian languages. He also knew some French and English. He was characterized with immeasurable patience in research and examining religious books. In return, he left valuable publications which speak of his prominence. Pope Carolus appointed the late Habib Gerges, who was the dean of the theologian seminary, to be his deacon. He de dedicated his life to the seminary and its improvements. Mr. Girgis assisted the Pope in expanding its buildings in Mahmasha. Pope Carolus often visited the seminary and blessed its students. This deacon was a skillful speaker. He accompanied the Pope in his pastoral visits to Upper Egypt and Sudan. He translated many religious books from foreign languages to Arabic and published El Karma Periodical. He spread the facts of the faith in a positive way. He published many books, among them were The Seven Sacraments of the Church, The Counselor of the Faithful, The Mystery of Pity, and many others. He taught and nurtured many generations of clerical men who flourished in the church and filled it with their sermons and religious publications. The Pope gave the utmost of his efforts to lift his flock to the highest spiritual level. As he was proud in printing the church books, he departed in peace after spending 52 years, 9 months, and 6 days on the patriarchal chair. May his prayers be with us and glory be to God forever. Amen. This is the antiphonary of the first day of Misra. O martyr Apolli, I begin by speaking of your worship and elect struggle, you the saint. The struggler and good fighter, the brave, the hero, and the beloved pure one. O the righteous one, truly you deserve to be honored in heaven and on earth. Beloved one, your name has spread throughout the world and is on everyone's lips. You rejected the false world and left behind your father and your mother. Your high rank and all your soldiers, your men and women slaves you freed, and you followed Christ with great desire. You confessed in his holy name. For this he granted you great gifts and glorious crowns in the kingdom of heaven. You healed the sick and exorced demons through the gift of God that was always with you. All people gather to your church to receive your blessing from your holy body. Blessed are you, Saint Apolli, for you toiled in the name of Christ. Blessed are you, elect martyr. You struggled in worship and pity. Through your prayers of Saint Apolli, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Come, let us worship God with a fearing heart, for he has created heaven and earth and all that is therein. 
and to praise Christ the King, the good lover of mankind, and his pure martyr, appalling, son of justice. O soldier of Christ, truly I am astounded, and my mind is baffled when I speak of your honor. The human race came to you from every place when they saw your abundant miracles and healings which you performed. Your face glowed with the rays of the Holy Spirit that shines in you. For your for from your youth you exhibited the true love for Christ, the King with a strayed mind. For this he gave you the gift of his Holy Spirit and granted you ineffable glory. May are, many are the sufferings which the saint endured, and many are the honors which Christ gave him. Behold, Jesus Christ placed three crowns of pure gold adorned with precious jewels of whose honor no corporal tongue could speak upon his head in return for the toils which he accepted in his holy name. You received great honors from Christ whom you loved and rejoiced with the saints in the region of the living. Ask him tirelessly to have mercy upon our weaknesses and take away these travails and grant us his peace. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O bearer of the struggle of martyrdom, Apollo, son of justice, that he may forgive us our sins.